yes, yes, y'all. Yes, yes, y'all. Yes, 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 y'all. And we back, y'all. And we back, y'all. Our school, our school, our school, school, y'all. And I'm... Yo, what's good? It's your boy. We back, yo. Um, big man ting today. You know what I'm saying? New name, Pondy Holston. Yo, it's your host, your baby mom, aka the Silvers of the Servers, aka the Multicolored Power Ranger, aka Professor X, because I handle all my business sitting down. Ow, and I got another new aka at Durag underscore Daddy. You heard? Shout out to Mama Shark out there doing her motherfucking thing, baby Mello with some of little bean pie. Yo, at Street Media Gang doing our thing. Uh, it's nasty outside it's been raining all day haven't had the opportunity to paint was supposed to do a mural today and i was like damn well i was supposed to do a mural this whole weekend and all that yo shout out to earn you know what i mean clothing brand out there doing anything they represent east new york got some information today we was bts and we was talking about Jay michelle and we was like yo he's from east new york i was like really so yo him and dondi whoo big Big, big, big bombs, you know what I mean? I wish Flex was here to be able to drop some, or we could get DJ Swift, you know what I mean? Shout out to my man DJ Swift. Respect the DJ live here at Street Media, you know what I'm saying? One of those big money things. But, yo, today is what, May the 3rd, I think? Today's like the sixth, bro. It's the sixth? Oh, the fifth. Oh, actually, to, yeah, exactly. Today is Cinco de Mayo, and shout out to everybody that's celebrating another racist holiday <laughs> towards another ethnicity group in the United States. Um, shout out to everybody that's out there at some burrito bar getting fucked up, you know what I mean? <laughs> Drinking, looking through a fucking ice, icicle. Or some shit like that, you know what I mean? Shout out to all of y'all that are participating in the festivities. So today is actually May 5th. It's rainy. It's been like real, you know what I mean? Okay. Uh, shout out. Yo, man, if you can, you know, um, send me $50,000 so I can help my grandma fix the back of her crib because it's been raining and pouring and pouring this water out. It's crazy. Shout out to Grandma P. Yo, so another episode of Art School. Where we sit here and we talk to artists of all disciplines, mediums, and we talk to them about their work and where it's going and all this good stuff, you know, how they got there, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But this is a fast forward playoff type of um, conversation today because I feel like I brought on a seasoned artist, you know, someone who is practicing his craft you know, and all forms and mediums. You know, sometimes we have artists. I, I, a lot of times I'm, I'm bumping into artists that are just beginning or, you know what I mean, they're like, uh, this is my first time putting this together or this is, you know what I mean, this is something that I'm trying now. And, you know, in art school, right, the University of Art, we have tiers or we have grades, you know what I mean? And, <laughs> You know, this is one that I, I respect in the grading of how he manufactures or how he puts together his work. It's, you know what I mean, fine. And it's oil, it's time consuming, you know what I mean? But with further to do, you know what I mean? He said, yo, just introduce me as Damien, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just say, you know what I mean? Tonight's guest on our school, my man Damien, AKA Curve King, cause that's his Instagram name. <laughs> <laughs> That's his Instagram name. Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? I got to live up to all that. Yeah, you got to live up to that. Yeah. Hell yeah. I'm saying that like I I was, you know, we have these conversations on the gram, right? And we're talking to the artists and we're talking to other artists when they're into their proceedings of showcasing their skills and they sound new. That's definitely, yeah. yeah, You know what I mean? I don't think that you're new. I don't, I don't see you. I don't feel new. Yeah. I don't feel new. You know? I've only been doing that for a few years though, but. I've been an artist my whole life, but I've only been, you know, on top of my business for a few years now. Yeah, what's a few years? How many years is that? Uh, uh, I've been an artist my whole life, but painting, first painting, 2015. Mm. Somebody fronted on me for my art. 
And that made me start paying and start taking it seriously. Oh, well, talk a little bit to the mic. Yeah, you got to talk. Uh, yeah, in 2015, like, I, I, I was one of the, uh, I would say I was an Instagram artist. Mm. I was one of those guys who, you know, you paint celebrities and you do all of this trendy stuff. And you do that in hopes of getting noticed. Yeah. And uh, I, I, it wasn't fulfilling. I was just like, yo, like, what's this? Mm. Like, like I, I kept doing it. You know, you, your followers go up, you get notoriety, people pay attention. But you know, when you when you when you try to make money off your crap, you can't sell anything. Yeah. You know, and then you know, when, once you realize, like, once you really want to have a career and it's just not a hobby anymore. Yeah. You start thinking like, okay, how can I monetize this? You know, like you, you can be as great as you want to be technically, mm. but can you create something? I mean, is that part of what I mean? As part of like the salesmanship, right? Is that part why you know? What I mean, you you are or you painter? I mean, I mean, because that's kind of more money. I'm not gonna front to everybody that's out there that don't know. You know, what I'm saying you spend you working with oils. That's kind of expensive, brother. I mean, that's that's definitely true. And I, me personally, I work with oils because. To me, it just looks better. Okay. Just, just visually, like I, like I'm, I like, I like technicality, mm. and I like creativity just as much. But like, I like to look at a painting and it just looks smooth and it looks nice. And you know, I, I'm one of those guys. Mm. I like, I pay attention to like the little, like how smooth the paint blends together. Stuff yeah, like yeah, that. yeah, yeah. I look at stuff like that, and. I was doing, I was trying to do some of that with acrylic, and I'm like, yo, nah, it wasn't, unless you like, had the fluid, you yeah, know what I mean, to thin yeah, it out, like, yeah, I was, like, I was like, yo, this is hard, how do you do that? And oh, then, oh, uh, real started, quick, yeah. real quick, shout outs to um, Coach Popovich, we just, um, we gave Math the name last night um, at the Vandu Hour interview, you know what I mean, for keeping us consistent and always working with um artists that are consistent you know what i'm saying so shout out to coach pop aka math you know what i'm saying because he's out here definitely representing for s street media and bringing this back together but to you know back to the point where you know I mean, you're working with oils and you're saying it's, it's a little bit more expensive but you like the fairness of it you like how smooth the blends are and you can't really do that with the acrylic i i i like that i like that you know what i mean some like um that that's 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 a finesse move in in, in playing ball yeah def definitely like um like like i said i pay attention to a lot of the technicality of art and like not just only like you just know how with a pencil but like how you put paints together and stuff like that and how mm. how you can make it look on a canvas mm. you know so i was just like yo like oil oil just looks way better mm -hmm. you know that's like, self when, that's self-taught yeah yeah definitely definitely Self-taught. Um, yeah, everything I everything I know, I taught myself. I didn't know I like my 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 family. Like no one thought, like they thought I was tracing. Like you know, when you're a kid, you you start showing signs. As a kid, they thought I was tracing. But I remember, I think my first, my earliest memory, like doing anything drawing. I think I was like five, and like in school, you know, they teach you how to do a cube, like how you do the two squares, you yeah, connect yeah, yeah, yeah. them. Yeah, like. At five, I just understood that. Like, I did, they didn't have to teach me. I just knew how to do it. And my mom was like, you do that? I was like, yeah, I did it. She's like, you sure you didn't trace? Or who, who helped you? I was like, I just did it. Like, yeah. And then, you know, I started, like, she started buying me coloring books because she saw, like, I like coloring and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And then you run out of pages. I just started drawing pages to color. And you would mom, say your mom's, your mom's kind of like motivated you to paint a little I bit. I mean, more? as a, as a child, yeah, as a child, you know, she was just like, okay, like it's something he likes to do. You know, he, he's not bad at it for a yeah. child. Yeah, encouraging that. And yeah, definitely. Like I said, she bought me coloring books, and when I run out of pages, you know, I like I want to color. Mm. So I'm, a, you know, just look at my favorite cartoon. I draw my characters. I start coloring them. She's like, yo, like you tracing, you tra what are you tracing this from? Mm -hmm. I'm like, ma, I'm drawing it. Like I drew this. Look. She's just like, you sure you do that? I'm like, yeah, like, you know, I'm nice, you know? But mm -hmm. she's like, she she saw it from a young age, and she always thought I was going to be a cartoonist. Mm -hmm. And I thought I was going to be a cartoonist because, you know, as a kid, you love cartoons. You're like, I want to make my own characters and, you know, things like that. But, what's more, what's more um, you see right now? What, what, what's, what gets the bread more, cartooning or... You know what I mean? Or you painting? I mean, definitely. I think I think it'll pay more to be an official, like a painter, like not a cartoonist. Okay. A cartoon, you definitely you, you gotta you gotta study income. You have a job. Yeah. You know, by all means, of course, you're gonna make money. But now that there's so many, this like every market is so saturated, like yeah. everything. So yeah. it's just like you gotta come correctly. Like, you gotta have a hit to, if you're trying to make money because it's like years ago when we was when we was kids, 
a cartoonist, you make a good living. Yeah, definitely. Now a cartoonist, you know, it got it got how many different networks, and you know, no one's really watching this network, and not as many people used those watching as they used to. Yeah. You know, some some people just start putting stuff out for free. You know, just to just to get yeah noticed. to get that back, and that's that's what I was gonna go to as far as the Instagram, right? Um, there's so many artists on Instagram. You know what I mean? It's, it kind of like saturated. Did was that a part of why you decided not to or to unbecome this Instagram artist and take it serious? Or did you think about that during that time? All right. Uh, I definitely thought about it, and like I see, I see a lot of artists that I know personally. Like they're focused on Instagram, mm. which is cool. You know, you could probably make a, you could probably make something of yourself on Instagram, but realistically speaking, if you're if you're trying to focus on Instagram, you got to keep up with the times. You got to do what's trending and all that. And in all honesty, like I'm an artist, artist. Yeah. Like I paint what's in my heart. Like I don't, like I'm not about to paint somebody because you just passed away. You know, mm. respect their soul, whatever the case may be. But everything I paint. Is, is, is from me. Mm-hmm. It's something that I feel. You know, I'm not I'm not painting nothing for nobody to notice me or or to get a shout out or or, or to, to, to make some prints because it's trending and like that's just not me. And I used to do the Instagram thing where you paint celebrities and it wasn't fulfilling. It mm-hmm. just wasn't. And then I tried to get in the gallery doing that. Like yeah, this is before I was actually painting, I was just doing drawings and I was framing them and I tried to get in the gallery. This is twenty fifteen. I never forget. I went in the gallery. What was the name of the gallery? Uh, remember? Doesn't matter. It's, no, no, no. I know the name. Can I say it? Oh, yeah. Sure. I don't give a fuck. It's, it's, Claire, it's Claire, Oliver, uh, Claire Oliver Gallery in in Manhattan. Mm. I think it's on like 27th Street or 27th and 8th Avenue or some shit like that. Mm. Oh, yeah. Over there in the Bad um, like the right and Bougie. Like right where the, where the, the, the overpass exactly. is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right the there. Bad and Bougie. Yeah, so the Bad I and Bougie in block. There. You know, I see some nice ass art. I'm like, yo, like I'm nice. You know, I'm, I'm feeling myself. And I speak to the director in the gallery. I'm like, like yeah, like I do art. They're like, you do? You know, like at the time, I'm, you know, I'm a whole different person than I am now. Yeah. Like I've carried myself totally differently. Had backwards, all of that. Like I just present myself differently. And I showed them some of my art. And they were like, yo, like you're really good technically. Like you have a lot of technical ability. And I was like, yeah, thanks. So like, what you think? He's like, oh, that's not for us though. And I'm like, what do you mean? I was like, you got people here drawing pictures and stuff too. Like, you know, it's in the same realm, but you know, the, the stuff on the wall they had meanings and like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just drawing celebrities. I was like, yo, you see Nicki Minaj? Like, yeah. oh, that's crazy, right? Like, <laughs> you know. So they was just like, yo, like this is great, but like it doesn't mean anything. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, at the moment, I was offended. I was just like, what do you mean? It don't mean nothing. Like, you was like, I killed this. Like, what are you mm-hmm. talking about? And. They was like, yo, like, listen, kid, like, you, like, you have ability, like, there's no denying that, like, that's a great talent, mm-hmm. feel me? Mm-hmm. But we can't do nothing with this. Yeah. How are you gonna, how are you gonna sell this to someone? And, and you know, that's that's what I found uh, interesting about when I was introduced to your work. Uh, I remember work just seeing you in um, the Experience magazine and um, the shoot where you had the astronaut look, then. You know what I mean? Going back and referring that to your work. You know what I'm saying? And it's kind of like, now, it, it, you know, that's I guess that's what the gallery is looking for. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like the meaning behind it. So even if, you know, and I, I, I don't want to I don't want to monkey it, you know what I mean? Or, or consider that because it's kind of fucked up. And I think we could get more into that conversation a little bit right after this. But um, I seen the meaning, you know what I mean? Going yeah. into the work, you know, it was... Uh, what put you there to be like, yo, this is gonna, you know what I mean, I'm gonna become this, the astronaut, or, um, you know what I mean, I'm gonna take this work. Was it that gallery that uh, they, pissed you off? They, it, I mean, yeah, they did, uh, I, I, like I said at the time, I was, I was tight. Like, I was, I was heated. I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm nice. Like, what are you talking about? Like, everybody on Instagram, I'm like, this, what are you talking about? Yeah. But, like, I, I met an older artist. I went to a show, and, like, he just painted, like, a bunch of stuff that I just didn't get. I'm like, people pay for this? Like, I'm like, why don't you draw stuff like the way I draw? And you just like, like, listen, like, you gotta create stuff that means something, stuff that's gonna last. And I was like, you know what? You're right. And I was just like, he he was like, all of this stuff that you like to draw, he's like, take that ability that you have and create something. Don't just look at a picture and redraw it 
and post it on Instagram and say, like, this is, you know, like, look for everyone to praise you. Like, he was like, that's cool. That's a great talent. But, it's a dub. But at the same time. It's a dub. But at the same time, it's, it's <laughs> like you being an artist to me now to me is more of creativity than mm. it is the technical than it is the technical ability mm. you know and at the time it was just about the technical ability yeah now it's like now i'm like okay i understand where creativity comes into you're definitely artist. a technician when it comes to your oil painting man and um you know i i, I see that you know what i mean working with you prior to this as you don't know you know what i mean i get around man <laughs> You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, we, we met a few years ago. Yeah, we yeah. met a few years ago, and uh, like I said, you know, what I mean, just uh, at times was really um, disappointed and not being able to feature your work in the in the way that I really seen it. You know what I mean? It was just like, you know, if you don't know, painting poetry. I used to do that a lot, and you know what I mean? It was just like a lot of technical shit that I was like, damn, the this, this space and all this other stuff, lighting or whatever, because I seen artists that were there that had that ability. Yeah. Or, you know what I mean? And I'm just looking at it and I'm like, oh, okay, this is this is great work, you know? Um, you know, Queens representing. Right? Yeah, yeah, I grew up in Queens. I'm from Trinidad, but I grew up in Queens. So. You know what I mean? Um, you know, like we said, this is a playoff run. You know what I mean? Background check on this. You know what I mean? We've yeah. been shooting a couple of episodes where we're, you know, now we're talking to some artists that are legit, you know what I mean? And, and I appreciate I really, you for having me. Yo, appreciate you for thinking of me in that sense. I appreciate Yeah, that. man, that's what I'm talking about. I'm trying to, I'm working on, I ain't going to say trying, but I'm working on getting up with established artists, artists that are really pushing um, the message or their message, you know what I mean? I see some of your new work now, you know, and it has like the boat, like I really, like I get and I see, I'm like, damn, that's a real clean way to um, fix that wood. Pause. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. a, you know what I mean? The, yeah, the, yeah. Like, to put it there, because, you know what I mean, I, I'm watching as well. You know? And this is self-taught. Yeah. This yeah, is definitely. Self wow. Trial and error. Trial and error. You just practice, practice, practice. People think, like, you're just going to wake up one day, and you're going to paint like this, and you're going to paint like that. And it's just like... You know, there's a lot of like, like you, you probably been to the events where you see like, you see artists like they, like they're afraid to stand next to their work mm -hmm. because they want to paint like the person standing across from them. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just like, you got to practice. You can't just wake up and just decide like, yo, you know what? I'm going to paint like that from now on. Mm -hmm. Like, no, it, it's trial and error. Yo, you Z know? yo, Zion coming to the Knicks? I fucking, I fucking hope. I hope because this season was stressful. <laughs> What? This season was, <laughs> the last few seasons was stressful, but it's just like, it's like you watch the Knicks play and it, 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 you can't, it's hard to watch. It's Yo, like, this shit is hard to watch. It's like, they just have a loser's mentality. Mm, and that shit is hard to watch, bro. Mm, it's hard to watch. Um, I'm looking at it and I'm thinking like, yeah, man, I really want Zion to come to New York. You know what I'm saying? But I don't want him to um, suffer. You know what I mean? Because he looks like I mean, he can I play think, some ball. I, 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 think, I think it's going to be a good offseason, definitely. I'm a, as you can see, I'm a Knicks fan. Of course. But. You know what I mean? That's random. That's really random. You know what I mean? We don't really talk about the sports like that. You know, if you had a chance to do or design or come up with a a, a logo or a uh, to paint like the jerseys like they did with the Brooklyn Nets, you know how they put the cooge. You know what I mean? Yeah. Undertones on it. What actually, team would that I be? I really like that jersey too. I, I hate I hate the Nets colorway. Everything. I do not like the Nets. But I like D'Lo. I like D'Angelo Russell. Yeah. But the Nets jerseys and the the uniforms is trash to me. Mm. So, but what, when what, they did that, I was like, yo, that's fire. I was like, yo, like. Which team? Which team would you would you want to do? I mean, I'm a Knicks fan. And I'm a Portland fan because I, I, Damian Lillard been my guy. Not because we got the same name, but that's been my guy. Like that's that's been my guy because he he a, he a humble killer. Like yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. That's, that's I, I I can appreciate that. Mm. Uh, if I had to choose a team that I would design for, uh, I'd probably say I, I need to freak the the Lakers, the Lakers jersey. The Lakers jersey. Yeah, the, the last like the last couple years, like their jersey's been trash. Yo, I don't it's understand that that purple black and yellow black I yeah mean, like where the black come from like, yo. Yo, this is trash like I, yo, nah, doing that's too probably much. why they losing because that fucking jersey yo nike stop it all right yeah, yo won. come hire us okay we're here exactly thank you you know what i'm thank saying you. we could do the courts and everything I, yo I, I always wanted to do that because i remember like years i think it was like 
probably like the early 20, 2011, 2012. I remember they 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 were they recruited fans to like design the jerseys of, mm. like years ago, mm. and I was like I, I wanted to enter, but I I didn't think I was good enough. I was like yo they ain't gonna pay me no money. I ain't gonna do that. But now yeah. I wish I did. Yeah, you mm. know, but that'd have been fire. They need to bring that back around. I definitely pull some shit out my ass. Trust Ooh, me. Kid. <laughs> yo, so Queens representing Trinidad. You know what I'm saying? Thinking about that. Uh, I'm doing some work and some research on some Trinidadian artists as as of now, and we were talking about Cubism and Picasso and all this other stuff. Right now, you know, do you see anybody from back home that is, you know, what I mean, uh, putting together some good work? Uh, you see, I, I'm gonna keep it real with you. Honestly, I'm, the person probably exists, but I I'm not familiar with them because. In the Caribbean right now, like where I'm from in the Caribbean, it's not it's not what I left it. Like ain't nobody focusing on art right now. Like there's like it's like a crazy gang war going on where I'm from. Ain't nobody trying to be painting and kumbaya. Right now it's crazy. Like where I'm from, like you can literally you can't walk two blocks because you could get killed. Like it's crazy like that. Mm. And it's like I always thought like, okay, once I become like a real established artist and I got money coming out of my ass, I'm going to go back home and I'm going to open a center and I'm going to start an art program. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And the country just got to get right first. So mm. I don't even think anyone's focusing on that right now because mm. it's a crazy game. The gang wars between Muslims and anybody with dreads, like anybody, like any Rasta people, mm. Muslims versus Rasta, that's, that, that's what's going on in the country right now. Mm. And that shit is crazy. Like, my uncle, everybody has dreads in my family. Mm. So imagine, mm. you know, this shit I was crazy. I was just looking at some shit recently where there was a Muslim brother out in Trinidad who uh, his church kind of looked like a fortress. Like, a, <laughs> God, I was like, God damn, y'all niggas is lit out here. But, you know what I mean, going into that, maybe we could put that into the air. You know what I'm saying? And creating some tra some change in Trinidad and promoting some art out there. And maybe this is part of the universe that gets you to come back into that. You know what I'm saying? So you could design some I courts. definitely would love to one day, man. Yeah, I man. I definitely would love to just take my message across the world and, you know, teach kids to, to, to you know, have some type of hobby that you really believe in and, mm -hmm. you know, grow with. You mm -hmm. know, and not just some shit that you're going to do for a few years and grow out of. Mm -hmm. You know, so... You know what I'm saying? You here in New York City. New York City, yo, I'm going to tell y'all something. I've been feeling real great. I haven't been sick because I've been on my vitamin C. Shout outs to Mama Shark and everybody out there at the crib. Tata, you already know what time it is, gang. Yo, JM with another banger. I got the best playlist on the goddamn S3 Media. <laughs> Anybody got a problem, holla at me. You know what I'm saying? Yo, we got Damien up here, a.k.a. Curve King. Yo, uh... Where that name come from? Yeah, you don't remember my name used to be like they called me one twelve because my my hood name was one twelve. Like everybody from my neighborhood, like they be like, yo, that's one twelve. <laughs> Curve King. I was just like, yo, I need something. Almost like if I was to blow up tomorrow, I need something that could simple that's gonna stick, and I, some shit that I would actually like buy. Like I would let people call me mm. and Curve King. Cause I'm like my friends be like yo that's the master spinner like I I be dubbing everything I be curving everything I be sometimes I be thinking I'm somebody my friends be like yo she like you I'm like I don't care like I curve that yeah you know so I just started calling myself Curve King because I just be curving everything that's kind of corny but <laughs> just, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> yo care but you care about the art man and that's yeah. what's important you know what I'm saying another episode 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 of art school you know we've been shooting we yo don't forget yo the new vicon the black vice land king always in the building we got damien here it's your host your baby moms aka the silver of the surfers aka the multicolored power ranger aka professor x because i handle all my business sitting down al free the wave aka daddy do rag or do rag dad well, however you want to go with it you feel me yo coach pop he's been in the back engineering as well we stay consistent you know what i'm saying studying the five p's yo whenever you ready god we here for you man you know what i'm saying
Shout outs to JM for smoking a honey blunt and then getting on the stage and being like, I give it up there in the bed. Yeah. Yeah, JM. Like I said, I got the best playlist on SC Media Gang. You already know what time it is. You probably was watching us while we were smoking a blunt over the break and things like that. Yo, so Damien was like, yo, there's so much to talk about. We got so much to talk about. So much to talk about. All right, cool. So with that being said, right? Uh, you said you don't know what to consider your art to be. Is it fine art? What what are you, what are you saying? I mean, it's fine art. I mean, yeah, I, w- I would say it's fine art. But like when you when you think about fine art, is not a genre. That's just like uh, I would say like a tier, like a like a, it's like a top tier art. Mm. But as far as like a genre, I mean, I think Kadeem said Kadeem said had a good response for that. And I was just like. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. I don't remember what you said, but I was like, yeah, I'm gonna go with that. Mm. But um, yeah, like um, hmm, like a fantasy type. I mean, I, I tell real stories in my art, even though like it's, it's about astronauts and traveling and underwater and all of this. But I tell stories, so I, I got, I got, I got to. You gotta get back to me on that because I don't Heard have it. A, I don't have a specific name for that yet. Yeah, I don't, I don't like putting the. Because I think when you say the tears, it's like, all right, so do you think anybody's type of work other than, I mean, all you painting is better or looks better than yours? Or or do you just think that all you painting is where it's at? No, I think oil paint definitely, like, you, you could get a more realistic look, mm. obviously. Like, you know, the, 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 they have a, a lot wider variety of colors, mm. and you can manipulate the, 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 the blending mm. a lot more. But it depends on what what type of art you what kind of art you paint because sometimes acrylic, it looks really good. But like I said, it depends on what you paint. Like I could appreciate a cartoon if it's done really really well, mm. as opposed to like a hyper realistic looking person. You know that it, they just did it with oil, but you know it's not blended certain ways and whatever the case may be. Yeah. So I don't know. It it, it just it, it depends on what you do with it really. All right. So who's your when it comes to oil you painting? Who's your top top three oil you painters? Top three oil painters. Uh, hmm. that's tough. Because well, do you even think about that? Like when I think about like top certain artists or whatever, I don't even really care. I, I care, but I don't like put them in no rank or no order. I just say these are people that I'm looking at. Do you do that too? Well, there, there's there's like there's definitely like a couple people mm. like that I, I could appreciate their work, and they, they don't even do what I do. Like, mm. I just appreciate what they bring, mm. you know? So there's an artist called Sue, Sue Tai. I, yeah, Sue probably Tai, yeah, of, of course. And of like, course. yeah, she's dope. I for love, everybody that doesn't know that, sorry to break you off, man, but to everybody that doesn't know that, like, she does the, 
The pants with the uh, balloons and stuff. Yeah, she does all type of different stuff, but yeah. I like her storytelling. Yeah. Like, I like her storytelling. I think that's pretty dope. Mm-hmm. Like, I would always, like, I always show love to her for that. Mm. There's another artist called, uh, her name, I just, I've been following her for years, since, like, 2012. Mm. She just used to be sketching pictures on her, on, on like, a notebook. Mm. Now, she, like, she got shot about it by the shade room. After that, she's out of here. Oh, wow. Like, she just started a whole business and all that shit. Mm. I'm proud of her. Her name is Tyra. She's, Yo, shade uh, room be... Di- uh, sorry. Yeah, I, I know. I, I have a feeling where you about to go with this, but continue. I ain't good. You, Math, yo, Math was like, yo, man, you know, oh, yeah, we practicing yeah, certain shit. But I just nah, think. Bro, that, be honest. Speak your heart, man. That's yo, what you're here for. Speak yo, your heart. Yeah, I think that sometimes that they post, like, when they do the art thing, they post, like, a thirst trap for the art. They don't post the art. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, like, I seen, like, men, like, doing this now, where they're like, in their boxers, you know. I was about to say, yeah, like it's, it's a lot of it's a lot of gimmicky bullshit. And it's just like I'm not with that, but I was happy that they shouted her out because, yeah, like I said, true. like she, like her art, like I've always been a, a fan of her. Her name is Tyra Tyra okay. Powers, and she's from Baltimore. I mm. think her, her Instagram is like just Tyra or something. I don't remember, but you know, she she's dope. I've always been a fan of. Her. She does acrylic. Uh, her paintings are super simple, but it's like my favorite type of art. Mm. And um, so Sutai, Tyra, that's two women. Uh, who else? Mm. Mm. And then I got a homegirl that's in Cali. Like she, she likes to do like the celebrity art right now, but she she shows potential in, ter- mm-hmm. in terms of creativity because I speak to her personally. Mm-hmm. I think she's pretty dope, and you know she 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 gonna drop some shit eventually. Yeah, I know. Luke Bomb, what's her name? Oh yeah. Oh oh, how you know? How you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, come on, man. I know everything, God. Yeah, that's, that's my. Mix. That's, that's like. What are you nah, talking no about? No lie. That's Champion. Like, no lie. That's like my best friend. Like, that's 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 my dog for Yo, real. Yo, Professor X, man. I keep trying to tell you, man. I know everything, God. I didn't even know you knew her. You follow us? Or Yo, man. Let's even know you knew her. Yeah, he about to go to his grave and check it. Like, y'all follow? We've been nah, to each other. Yeah, about. man. So, Suta, Taylor. Ty, uh, Tyra. Tyra. Tyra Powers. And Luke. Yo, come on up. Check us out, man. You know what I'm saying? Art school. You know what I'm saying? We could get to Baltimore. We Sue, you kind of out of this world already. Yeah, but yeah, it's yeah. Like, she, she out of here, but I, I still appreciate yeah, her Yeah, come work, on. We could get you is, down to art school. Here, come she, talk to she, us she and shit. Here. You know she what I'm saying? She big time now, but she started, yeah. she started simple it's on Instagram, but, yeah, but I like what she do. I she's kind of fake. She she, it was a fake thirst trap, too, because she looked mad good. Oh, yeah, 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 right? But, yeah. Yeah, like you can't help it. She know what she be doing. Yeah, she knows she, she, knows be, what she doing. be doing. She a little slicky. So I mean, yo, I ain't mad at her though. yo, we ain't mad. So those are your, those are three that you 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 see out that there. I really appreciate. Yeah, uh, we fucks with that. You know, what I mean, all types of different styles too. Yeah, yeah. yeah they yeah. none of them none of them paint like the the same. Mm-hmm. I could appreciate a lot of things, but just off the top of my head, mm-hmm. those are three people that that come to mind that I really appreciate. That's fire. You know what I'm saying? So you don't have no three particular oil painters that you fuck with. Uh, nah, not not necessarily because. Like, bro, like, I get inspired by, like, everyone. Like, sometimes I even see you post some shit. I'm like, I see you post some simple shit. Like, I think you did a, a Snoopy, Snoopy laying on top of the house. It, yeah, you did that. And I was like, yo, like, like, that's dope. Like, I look at, like, little simple shit, and I'm like, okay, like, how can I, like, how can I take from that and, and, and create something from it? Yeah. You know, like, put it into what I, what I, what I do. Yeah. You know, so, like, I don't have any specific, like, I'm not gonna say any specific artist inspires me or like anything, cause I like I appreciate everything. Good art is good art at the end of the day, you know. So that's just how I that's how I look at that. All right, I hear that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I I seen a lot of work come from a lot of artists. You know what I'm saying? And now you're practicing. You're like in the business. Yeah, 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 definitely, definitely. And uh, that's 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 really going on right now for you. Well, you know, I guess these are where those questions come from when we talk about the business. You know what I mean? And we once had a discussion about you know what I mean curators. You know what I mean? Like oh yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah, putting yeah. putting artists in a uh, in a in a space. You know what I'm saying? And then saying yo, you know what I'm saying this is for your exposure and stuff like that. You know. Uh, yeah, so that's a that's a in terms of like like there, there's this culture that I would say you and I both come from, right? Like it's, it's like an underground art scene, mm. right? Uh, 
where we we, we, we we put on our own shit. We don't rely on no gallery or no company. Like, we put together, we get a space, we, we, we put it together, right? So let's say, for example, you're doing an event like that. You're curating, you're, 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 you're renting out the space, however you get in the space. You rent out alcohol or you, you're doing a consignment, whatever the case may be. You hiring a bartender, you hiring a door person, you hiring this, you hiring that. There's work being done. People got to get paid, right? So if you charge an artist ten dollars, fifteen dollars, twenty dollars to just be a part of the show, from a creator's aspect, that's not nothing. From the artist, they just like a lot of times the artists feel like they're doing you a favor. Mm-hmm. And I was one of those people. I feel like yo, know, like I'm like my art is great. But at the end of the day, you're not doing anyone any favor because at the end of the day, they're doing work. Mm. Like if they create, if they even if they're doing something that's creating labels, mm. somebody's up at two o'clock in the morning creating those labels for you. Mm. Somebody's up looking up venues at three o'clock in the morning for you. Somebody's trying to make calls to, to get this person to be a part of it, to get performers, to, to you know make sure everything good. People take days off of work to to make sure everything goes smoothly. You know, there's work being done. Mm. And on top of that, even if that's not enough for you, let's say for example. If, if you create a, if you curate an event, right, and I bring my art to you, right, like I'm a random artist, I'm just a typical artist. Bring my art to you, you put my art up in your walls. You know, I pay you. I, it was free. You, I didn't pay nothing. Let's say my art costs five hundred dollars. I'm charging five hundred dollars for painting, right? If my art falls off the wall and it gets damaged, who's the first person I'm coming to? How you go? How you gonna handle that? It's a it's a double I mean, sword. Ex- exactly. It's it's like at the end of the day, it, at the end of the day, twenty dollars. Like, you, how you gonna complain about that? Mm. How you there's work being done, and then your art got to be protected. We at the end of the day, you're putting it in my hands. I'm responsible for it. Mm. If something happens to it, mm-hmm. you're gonna your first person. You be like, yo, they didn't take care of my this. They didn't take care of that. They gotta pay me for this. They gotta whatever the case may be. So it's like. When, like, I, I used to be so against it. Like, I used to be like, yo, why are they charging artists to, to hang their art? But at the end of the day, once I started doing it myself, I was like, okay, like, there's work being done. So there's a there's a tier in the entrepreneurship itself. Yeah, and, and here's the craziest thing, right? Here's the craziest thing. A year ago, uh, I, I luckily, I'm, I'm fortunate enough because of my art. I, I got, I'm, I'm dealing with a gallery in Malibu, mm. right? There was another gallery from California. The, the owner was visiting, uh, like last August or so, they wanted to meet me. So I went to meet them. You know, they're just in New York for a couple of days. We driving around Manhattan. You know, they sightseeing. They was going to another gallery. So we, I'm just driving with them in the car talking. He's like, yo, so do you ever show your art publicly? I'm like, yeah, you know, here and there, you know, I have friends that do events and, you know, sometimes I do my own events and, you know, I, yeah, I do a little art party here and there. He's like, art party? I was like, yeah, you know, it's like, we, we, you know, it's like a party, but we feed, we focus on the art and, you know, we have the performance, like painting poetry, like yeah. we have the performance and, yeah. you know, stuff like that. And, you know, it's just like a real underground scene. We all come together and, you know, it's great. Everyone has a good time. Cool. Sometimes we sell art, sometimes we don't, but, you know, everyone networks, you meet new people, you get exposure to do other things, whatever the case may be. All right. So he's like, wow, that's really, that's a really good idea. I was like, you think so? He's like, yeah. He's like, it doesn't have to be like this boring thing that, you know, a bunch of old folks are there. They ask you questions that you don't really care to talk to. You know, you put together a party, you have fun. So basically, you know what that means, right? He's yeah, about to, Jack- he's, a, he's about to, he's, <laughs> he's about to legitimize what yeah. we've been doing, right? So they complain about $20 from us and he about to go charge you $100, talk about insurance. He about to talk about how many hours and all of this and all that. He's about to legitimize what we've been doing. Think about that. Are they going to they going to complain to him? Mm-mm. And and I All right, I, then. I guess that's that's the new that's a part of more of the conversation, right? Exactly. Where it says I think sometimes, you know, well, from your experience as being a uh, a black entrepreneur, you know, how has the reception been when it comes to you promoting your your artwork? Uh it, it's I'm gonna tell you what. If, if I was a female, if like let's say if I if I had a female friend that she just came out of nowhere, and I decided I'm like, yo, you gonna put out all my artwork. I'm gonna just do the painting. You gonna stand behind it. It would be more received. It it would be received way differently. Mm. You know, not only as a not only as a black man, not only as a man, because you know, like now in this day and age, I'm not trying to 
belittled anyone, but as a man, shade room. As a man, they not really checking for you. Shade unless room. Unless you're doing some typical shit. Shade room. Unless Shade you're doing room. some typical, like you got to be gimmicky and you got to stand next to your artwork with your shirt off. With and the you gotta, fatty. You got to you got to be staring at the picture. You got to be doing all type of craziness just to get people to look at your art. You or know? it has to be it has to be pop. It has to be pop G Michelle. Oh, exactly. You you got to you got to do you you got to do what's trending. Something like I said, if somebody pass. You paint a picture of them, they own it. They're like, oh, yeah, we love this. This is great. Yo. You know, but is it really great, though? Or did you really just, yo, yo I saw an opportunity. People going to notice how'd it. How do you feel about that? How do you feel about that? I hate it. I hate it. Like, I do not like when, like, when, I, like, when someone passes away and you see everyone on Instagram, they're like, yo, I'm about to draw a picture of him. We're about to make prints. We're about to make T-shirts. We're about to get this money. Yeah, I'm I like, just I, had this. I, I hate that. I hate it. I hate it. I don't like that. Stop doing that. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, but the, the, don't don't not do it for me. Yeah. But it's just like it's just the integrity of your art. It's like you want to be known for that. And on top of that, like you, it's hard to sell shit like that because it's like how do you sell that? Yo, there's no creativity. Or you, if, if somebody re, like let's say God 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 bless Nipsey Hussle. Nipsey Hussle just passed. I'm sure you've seen everybody in a month. Nipsey Hustle all over your timeline, painting drawings, da da da. Some of them are really great. I could I could appreciate the talent, like yo, like yo, he killed that. Yeah. But at the end of the day, there's a lot of them that didn't kill that. Yeah, and then the, there's people that are just looking at it like yo, like yo, I'm gonna get noticed. <laughs> yo, I'm get noticed. This, yo, this is my way on. Yo, and that's and not cool. This that's is that cool. Instagram shit. This is that Instagram shit, and it kind of bothers me. You know, I, I talked about this publicly. I'm not one to bite my tongue in the game, and I think that's why I appreciate you for actually coming up here, you know what I mean, and speaking on some issues. Because, like, I do feel that way at times, too, where, you know, I think my work sometimes is noteworthy. I think you should, you know what I mean, just be like, yeah, because, you know what I mean, my shit come with 17 different messages. Boom, 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 a technical... And that's, that's so unfair to somebody like you or somebody like me that they're going to say, the nigga who just decided he was going to draw an MC Hustle because he passed away, <laughs> they're going to say we the same thing. <laughs> we not the same thing. We don't do the same thing. Yeah. What we do is totally different. You yeah. you got 17 different messages. This person drew Nipsey Hustle. <laughs> that's it. That's How it. How are we the same thing? Yeah. You know. You have a whole creative process, and they just looking for a picture on Google. Yeah. You know? How are we the same thing? That's not the same thing. Yeah. That's not fair. That's not fair to an artist who really takes time to put creativity into what they do and they have a whole process to compare them or, or, or to say this person is better than you because they drew something that you're familiar with. Mm -hmm. You know, like, oh, that's all it is. They just, pe people are just familiar with Nipsey Hussle. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean that his art is better than your art or my art. Yeah. They any, just know Nipsey Hussle. Any, any advice? Any advice for those artists that you know what I mean? Or words of encouragement that you may have for the artists out there that's seeking to get some validity off of Instagram or in a social scene. I mean, what I would suggest, what I would suggest, I mean, that's a tough one too, because I understand why these artists do it. Like, I get it. But at the same time, it's like, once you get known for that, people are not going to accept anything else from you. Mm. You know, like, you get known for drawing all these celebrities. The moment you decide, like, yo, like, listen, my heart hurt. I got a pain about this. Mm. They don't give a fuck about that. I was at a so, show. I was sorry. I'm sorry. I was at a show, right? And it was a, it was based off of, like, heroes, like, throughout the uh, the world. You know what I'm saying? So it was uh, Mother Teresa, Malcolm X, that type of show, Martin Luther King. Everybody's doing portraits of them. So I said to myself... You know what I mean? I want to feature my grandmother because my grandmother is a pillar in my neighborhood of East New York. You know what I'm saying? She grew up, uh, well, I ain't going to say she grew up. When she came to New York, she was involved with Florentino Plaza. She was involved with the upbringing of Alabama pla um, projects. You know what I mean? Working for a lot of these step one programs in these neighborhoods. You know what I mean? Things like that. So I wanted to draw a picture of her for being someone that you know what I mean, did the vacation Bible school thing at a church that was history, as we speak here at our school. Anywho, and the curator was like, no. Nah. And I'm like... Wow. I'm like... Wow. Because, but, because he don't know who that is. Be, but 
Because it's not a familiar face to... And that's what we're saying with the crowd. It's like sometimes you get caught up joining the Cardi B and they don't want to see... I, they yo, don't want to see... If I draw a picture of Cardi B tonight, I'm on the Shade Room this Wednesday, I promise you. You know? Because you know why? Because the, the, the person who creates the art for that, they follow me. Mm -hmm. She follows me. She sees me. She's like, yo, your art is dope. She out here shouting out, and, as and, you can see. And, 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 and let, me be, let me be real, you know, with... The, with you guys out there that's doing this online magazine of art type of wave, it's cool. I fucks with it. You know what I'm saying? Um, if you want to create galleries for artists, give them galleries, right? Yeah. Give them fucking spaces so they can show their goddamn work. Stop putting, you know what I mean? You know, you building your shit up. You got 100K followers or whatever because you always posted uh, pictures of, of a face, of a face, of a face. There's other forms of art. Yeah, for definitely. black artists, definitely. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. And you practice that, you know what I mean? And that's what I, I like about your work is other forms of artwork out there. There's contemporary styles of work. There's abstract. The, the, the graffiti world needs to be up there too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, blends and colors, you know, that mix together a contrast. That's, you that's, see, you see, but you know, you know why it is the way it is now? Because of Instagram, because the moment you have... A certain number of followers, you become a gatekeeper. And the gay people that don't know shit about art, this is what happens. Mm. That's all it is. They just have they have a platform. So they don't know nothing about art. They know, oh, this person could draw, he's an artist. They know this person creative, he's an artist. They the same thing as far as they're concerned. They don't really know nothing about the culture. So they have a platform. They just sharing, okay, this is what I'm familiar with. I know Nipsey Hustle. I don't know Matthew's grandmother. Mm. No matter how great the painting is, mm. I know Nipsey Hussle. I don't know your grandmother. Yeah. Feel me? Yo, what's so, your favorite color? My favorite color is purple. Purple? I, yeah. I don't know why, too. Like, I just, I don't know. I don't know. But I like purple a lot. Yo, what's your favorite drop of sneakers so far this year? Hmm. You know I love sneakers, too. I, yeah, that's yeah. why. I, yeah, my uh, man's a, a sneaker kind of soul. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I just I love, have to bring that sneakers. back up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, hmm. This year? What drop this year? <laughs> I know, like, I'm I'm being a hype beast because I don't even like this niggas that much. Mm. But um, uh, Travis Scott got them shit, them, them ones that come out next next week, I think. Yeah. Them joints. I was like, yo, them shit's got all right. I just wonder because I know I ain't gonna be seeing them every day. Mm, okay. You know, but yeah. like sneakers, I, I got I got them the, the sixes. That's the choice, like, baby. Yeah, like, like, bro, like yo, I, I, I wish like, I could do his voice, but like, Mav goes, that's that shit, baby. I like, I like simple shit. I like I don't like too much going on. Like I like simple shit. I like everything I could just slip on. Like if I could just slip it on, like I I love it already. That's why as much as Kanye kind of been pissing me off. I love Yeezy. You just slip them on. You just slip it on. You go do what you gotta do. Yep. I love shit like that. Yep. You know, so he even had a, a nice release of, like a month ago, like the, yeah, the, the he, orange looking ones. I was like, yo, those are, those are kind of cool. Yeah, those I are, ain't bought them though, but yeah. I was like, yo, this is hard. Oh man, I gotta stand for something. Yo, so what's what's up next? Uh, in terms of my art, or in terms of my career and art, um. Like I said, I'm dealing with a gallery in Malibu, right? And I was fortunate enough that they really believe in my, my in my art and they want to make merch and toys and, you know, just sell my art for, like, money that I can not even... I'm just like, yo, people, people pay that? Like, but, but they were just like, yo, like, listen, we believe in you. You just got to make pieces this big and, you know, just send the work. Come through, show your face, and we got you. So... Uh, at the beginning, they wanted it to do at the end of this year, but at the beginning of next year, I have my first like official solo show in California, and I've always wanted to do my solo show, but I wanted to do it right. Like I'm the type of person, like I'm very specific, mm -hmm. so it's like I don't just do things just to do it, mm -hmm. you know. So it's just like if I do it, it got to be right because I put too much, I put too much into my art to just throw it up on a wall and be like, yo, come through. Like, as much as I want to do that, because I want my peoples, my peoples, just like me, to appreciate what I do, I put so much into this that I can't do that. I, I like, because I feel like you, when you treat your, when you treat your art like what, it's whatever, people receive it like it's whatever. Mm -hmm. Feel me? So it's like, you got to, you, you got to present it the way you want people to receive it. Mm -hmm. You know? So it's just like, listen. Message. So it's just like, listen, like, 
Yeah, like I'm. Um, listen, like I'm. I'm I want to be with them boozy people. You feel me? Like I want you to. I want you to treat my shit the way you treat their shit. Mm -hmm. Because I put in just as much work, if not more, than they do. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So you're not about to treat me like whatever, because I don't treat my shit like whatever. Nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Speaking the truth out here, yo, it's a pleasure. Are you reading any books right now? Uh, actually. I'll I, I be dragging it, but I've been reading the uh, the 48 Laws of Power for like like five months now. Okay. But every every couple of days, I, I read a few pages, mm. and it's very it's very interesting. Like it's very it's, it's a lot of it's a lot of psychological things that that you see every day, but you don't really pay attention to, and it, it just it 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 teaches me how to carry myself a lot differently. Cause I used to be like I said, I used to carry myself very differently. And the conversation, this conversation would have been very different when we first met, mm -hmm. you know? So it was just like, and it's not to say I was dumb back then. Mm -hmm. I was, you know, I always thought, I always thought of myself as like, you know, somewhat, somewhat, you know, smart, conscious person, but the conversation, what we would talk about, you know, it would have been way different. So I, I definitely learned a lot from that. I would suggest you guys, if you've never read that book, I suggest you read it. There's a lot of tricks, life hacks. That they would call it today, mm, but life it's, it's very, it's very, yeah, it's very informative. Dude, just what, life in what general. What page is that on Instagram when they show you all, all life hacks all day? <laughs> <laughs> it's probably called life hacks. <laughs> probably right. It'd be yeah. dead. Goddamn on Instagram for five hundred hours looking at life hacks and don't achieve none of them or don't do none of them I'll at all. You, you know what I'm saying? So yo, shout out to everybody that's been tuning in, man. I'm working on bringing more and more and more and more artists that are establishing themselves as entrepreneurs, businessmen, and women all across the world. You know what I'm saying? Swag is a gang, you know? I've been chilling here. I appreciate everybody for always checking out at Street Media as well. You know what I'm saying? Yo, we've been working, you know what I mean? Bringing that fire. A lot of things been going on. Yo, Happy Time Snacks got a few events coming up. You know what I'm saying? We got um, some more stuff. Just just go to the page, man. You know what I'm saying? Go to the page, S Street Media. You know what I'm saying? Don't forget, man, the Vandal Hour too, man. Work, yo, graffiti artists. I know sometimes y'all be like, oh, yo, yo, you be talking about fine art and all that other <laughs> shit and history and all that. Yo, I'll fuck with some of y'all too. Yo, we gonna get some things going this year, man. It's a great season. Yo, who you got for the chip this year? Golden State? I mean, listen. They are the best, like, they are the best team. <laughs> like, you you can't deny it. Like, you, they make basketball look so effortless. Yeah. yeah. Personally, my, my team, I like I like Portland because mm. Damian Lillard is my guy. Like, that's like the humble killer. Like, I love Damian Lillard. And uh, I, I love when people talk shit and, like, you, you can humble them mm -hmm. just by not talking shit back, but you just going to come out, you're going to show out. I love Damian Lillard for that because that's the type of person he is. That's the type of person I am. Like, I like when people talk shit to me. I just, like... All right. All got right. you. I got something for that. 40 clip. You know what I'm saying? Bang. You know what I'm saying? You know how that go. Yo, any last shout outs? Anybody you want to big up in things? Uh, big up. Shout outs to you. Thank y'all for having me. I definitely appreciate it. I mean, I think we talked about this for like a while though, but. Yeah, the lineup is crazy. I no, got like I definitely, 500 but, people on the but list. But I definitely, I definitely, <laughs> I definitely appreciate y'all having me. I'll come back anytime, you know, just let me know in advance. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not, like, you, you got to let me know like days in the head. Because like, if you, on Sundays, I do not come outside. Like on Sundays, that's my one day I have to myself. Mm. Stay my ass inside. I paint my little pictures. I play my video game. I watch basketball. That's it. I don't like people bothering me on Sundays. But for the most part, shout out to y'all for having me. Uh, shout out to the people that's helping me with the dollar bin. Actually, I'm starting to do it in other states. The first show is going to be on May 24th in Florida in Miami. Mm. And then in July, and then in July is um, July 21st. I have one in, in L.A., and uh, if you guys don't know what the dollar bin is, it's it's a thing that I started. Like it's an event where it's just a dollar to get in. You just pay a dollar again, you come hang out, you check out some art, check out some music and the performers and whatnot. And you know, that's just my gimmick. That's that's my gimmick. That's my dollar bin. That's my gimmick. I hate gimmicks, but I feel like when it's cheap, when it's free, people don't care. When it's ten dollars, they want to question it. So I was like, yo, one dollar. And you know, it's, it's been. Whenever I did do it, it's been successful. So we starting that back up at the end of this month. 
and then again in in July for LA and probably going to do New York before the end of the year again you know just get the ball rolling so fire you. that's it yeah all right man yo man Damien my man up here aka curve king yo <laughs> jm yo you been on the playlist all day girl holla at me you yeah know she's what fire saying? You know what I'm saying? I was saying? looking at her Instagram. She cool. She cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you yo, know what that yo, is. I shouldn't even. I shouldn't even said that. I'm about to get killed. I'm about to get killed. When, when somebody sees this video, I'm about to get killed. I should not have said that. Dude, y'all cut that. <laughs> yo, you know what I'm saying? Yo, that's life. My yo, that's, that's life. You know, yo, SG Media Gang. You already know what time it is. We appreciate you for tuning in, man. Yo, it's your host, a whole bunch of AKA. Peace. You know what I'm saying? We love you. Appreciate you. Peace, y'all. Peace. <laughs> and we're going to wait for Mav to put on this music. them up and fill them to you let the fragrance elevate us to a place we can do anything embrace today is our escape don't think about anything let go i'm your every desire that you let me know and you know we can make up some noons if we lose control 